I did my postdoc at Stanford University and before at the University of Michigan. And about three and a half years ago, I came back here to Israel and I was very fortunate to get the funding by Zuckerman to open my own lab at the Weizmann Institute of Science to do what we really love, which is working on the human brain. We're not looking at the brain as a whole in the lab. We're looking at the tiniest details of the human brain, the proteins. Proteins are tiny machineries that reside in each and every cell of our body. And we try to understand what is the function of these tiny machineries that compose basically everything that we are. If you look at the illustrations by Leonardo da Vinci, you don't need to know what this machine was doing to understand just by looking at the architecture of it, what it does. So the same thing goes for the proteins. We look at the proteins and we start identifying all those tiny wheels, those tiny instruments that are working in the protein. And just by looking at them, we can start having an idea of what they do, what they do in routine, what they do in the cell. Have we seen this before in nature? The main scientific tool that we're working with in the lab is the electron microscope. And this microscope allows us to look at proteins at extremely high resolutions in 3D. I'm talking about atomic resolutions of two atoms in a single molecule, which is very, very tiny. One recent work that we did in the lab is related to the hunger mechanism, to understand what makes us hungry. This whole mechanism is controlled by a single protein, one protein in the brain that serves as a switch on and off, hungry, not hungry. And mutations in this particular protein can go in both directions. It can make you extremely hungry all the time. And this will cause extreme obesity in people with such mutations. And it can cause you to feel full all the time, which is also problematic. We understood some things that we couldn't know before we looked at the protein. For example, we learned that this protein is working with calcium. The connection between calcium and the hunger mechanism was never known before. But while we looked at the protein, we found calcium bound within the protein, actually within the, the site that is important for the function of the protein. And this was a big surprise. We will continue working on the hunger mechanism, so we only answer half of the question. We now understand what makes us feel full, but we really want to understand what makes us feel hungry. Weizmann has great infrastructure, and also Weizmann really encourages scientists to communicate. It encourages interdisciplinarity and the vision Right now, we can use the technology that we're using in the lab to understand how individual proteins work. But what we really want to do is to look at the bigger picture, to look at the whole picture of many proteins, how they communicate with one another, how they're working together to make the brain a whole.